Okay, this is going to be Thursday's nap, April 16th, the third week. Um, before we get started on this lesson, we have another little quiz for Check My Progress. And I want you to do this quiz before you get started on lesson eight. Lesson A is called Equal Parts. So they're going to have shapes today that they're going to divide in a way that each part is exactly the same size. So if you look at page, uh, your very first page, you have some trapezoids that made a new shape. And if they divided it here, and how many equal parts do you have? You have two. On your big triangle, it took four of them. So that's one, two, three, four equal parts. And they use four small squares to make a big square. And their sizes are the same. One, two, three, four. Four equal parts. Okay? Open up to the inside. It says a whole can be separated into equal parts or equal shares. Equal parts of the whole are the same size. If they're not the same size, they're not equal. Okay? So they took this square and they divided it into four small squares or four equal parts. They took this square and they drew a line down the middle and have just two equal parts on that one, okay? How many equal parts here? And count how many equal parts there. Okay, now on three and four, they want you to make the equal parts, and I'm gonna do these two with you, but then on your next page, you're gonna do it on your own. So. To make two equal parts, if I drew a line here, are those equal? No. So you got to be careful how you draw your line. But if I draw my line here, hopefully, you know how I'm smart, Louise. All right, those are more equal. Okay, so you've got one, two equal parts. On this one, they want four equal parts. There's a lot of ways you could do this one. We could go here and here to make four equal parts. You could do lines go like this. And those are the same size. You could do lines up and down. I'm going to divide it in the middle first. They're not going to get it very even. Okay, so you want to put it in the middle. So that one can be done lots of different ways. All right. So flip it over and they want you to write how many equal parts on five, six, seven, and eight. They've already got them divided for you. And then on nine and ten, they want you to draw lines. So they want you to draw lines to show four equal parts. That can be done in several ways, but you want to be careful and make sure that each part is equal to the other part. And in this one, they want you to make two equal parts. All right. And then on the last one on this page, it says circle the shape that shows equal parts. So you can look at that. If you look carefully, you can see the ones that are equal. All right, let's go to the back side. Make sure this is the same. It says, Jasmine cuts her sandwich into two equal parts. Circle Jasmine's sandwich. So find the one that's divided into two equal parts and circle it. Okay, Damon is sharing a pie equally with three friends. How many equal parts does he need? Okay, you're talking about three friends and 
Damon. So I want you to put, I want you to draw lines to make enough pieces for Damon and three friends and write how many equal parts it needs to be. And then our last problem, make sure this is the same. It says, Isabel and Katie cut this pizza to share with their two friends. Tell why they are wrong. Okay, first of all, you have Isabel and Katie and then two more friends. How many friends is that all together? And how many pieces of pizza did they have? How can you make that right? Is there a piece there that you could divide more? Why don't you show me how to make that pizza? Divide it again to show me enough pieces for Isabel, Katie, and two friends. All right, and that is your Thursday lesson.